No, okay, you better not. So the mod itself mostly con only contains from an exe file that we can throw pretty much on any vanilla wool 3D game map set. Theoretically should work with anything vanilla without any graphic changes, but don't take my word on it. We didn't test it fully. And yeah, let's... As you can see, the menu has changed. The options are changed a little bit. I'll try to check them while I play. But probably I'm gonna still forget to mention some features. In case I forget to mention something, you can always check Wikipedia or maybe description under the video for more details, but I'll try to do my best. I'm playing it on Thomas Mapset. How was it called? Thomas Wolf 3D? Or something like that. As I said, you should be able to play the exit over anything that's more or less vanilla. Theoretically, it should also work with um, total conventions, conversions that don't use uh, coding changes, because that might be a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Because that's probably not gonna work, but. Um, Ah, uh, we'll, we'll try to explain it as I go along the way. So, the first thing that it's really obvious that's changed, except the menu stuff, is the enemies are behaving a bit differently. And we have uh, messages popping up. So what's going on with the enemies? Um, they are changed a little bit to play around with their size and their speed. And each enemy should be random, so each time you play the game, the enemy is gonna be different on different places, because they're gonna be randomized each time you start playing. Their weight, so width, speed, and height are gonna vary. We'll see how many enemies we're gonna meet. As I said, it's randomized. Another change is the weapon system. At first, the weapons seem rather normal, but they had quite some stuff added to it. First of all, there's a combo system. If you kill enemies without missing with one weapon, your weapon gonna start to get stronger. Oops. Mm. That's at the moment at the key button, but you can customize your controls. I'll try to do it with the knife because I think it's the simplest and we'll see how that goes. It's coming, okay then. How did that go? 
Weapon 1, which is a knife, I still didn't go over. Let me stop something a bit more. Yeah. Yep, I managed to make it a bit stronger now. And yeah, the more combo you have, the stronger the weapon gonna get. And you can see here what's your combo level. I don't remember how much, how far did it go. Oh, here we have a tiny enemy. Um. You can drink blood also if you have more health. And you can see here there is something suspicious on the floor. Some items are invisible, transparent, so are the enemies. That was also set up to be a little bit random, but I can't remember what it depended on now. Um, anyways... Let me check up something. That's how the customable control menu looks like. Vision is H. Okay, let's try that. If you press H, you can see the invisible items and also enemies a little bit better. And you can toggle it. Okay. I think it's fairly obvious what I'm talking about. Um, and as far as I know, it's supposed to work with the Vanilla mods, so you can't really control that on the map, except you know the trickery to it. Alright, next thing to talk about... I'm not done with the weapons yet, but I'm gonna come back to it, is, as you can see on the display, we have a weight. And total weight. That's um, weight is the weight of the player. How much he weights in total is a whole sum up with the weight of the player and the stuff he is carrying. To that counts up ammo, health. And I'm not sure what else. I think that was all. Oh, come on. Okay, since I'm getting a little bit heavy here, you can see that the screen starts to shake. And we are he hearing a thumping sound. It means I'm getting very heavy. I'll try to get a bit more fat to show up some features, but we'll see how that goes. I know I'm not very good at explaining stuff if I'm playing and focusing on something else. Meanwhile, but I'm trying to do my best here. I hope I'm more or less coherent. If not, then oh well, just download the fucking thing and just play yourself. For example, because I'm talking, I have no idea anymore where to go because I didn't pay attention. Where is what? As you can see, you can have also a bit more gore added up. Oh, and we have tiny enemy, and if it's so tiny, we can just walk over him and squish him. That's awesome. I think, uh, if I remember right, the treasure items don't add up to the weight, because that would be a little bit overkill with the counting. And I don't remember anymore what was the maximum weight values. It's... not was released a while ago, and uh, I just don't remember the details. Ok, 
Okay, how much I weighed now? Over 200. And I'm not using a run running at the moment for a specific reason. I'm just trying to get really fat to show it. Let's see if it works now. Still not. Some enemies are moonwalking, that's not a bug, that's a feature. Okay. Now we are getting a message about Godzilla and getting a sound when I'm trying to walk for the door. What happens is that I am simply too fat to walk for the door. So what can I do now? You have a few options. Um, We can drop ammo, drop weapons, drop HP. Let's try those. ZXC. Can we dropping ammo? Just drop my weapon. There it went too. Them. We can also drop the knife. And then we don't have a knife. So not recommended. And we can also drop health, which is pretty much just throwing up. But my favorite method of losing the weight so I can pass through the door again is just running in circles because if you run you're gonna be constantly losing the weight and that also gets you lighter i mean that's a very realistic approach if you're too fat you just run around and lose weight that's why i think it's my favorite approach but if you're impatient about it you can also drop stuff that's fine too We also have some drunk mode if... I picked up something wrong, didn't I? I forgot what was causing it. Um, I think some random enemies drop some... Was it Syringe that's causing it? Yeah, they forgot. But yeah, we have this effect. It's gonna pass in a moment. play like this, I need to wait for it to go away. Or was it from the dog food I picked up? I'm not sure now. I had nothing to do with the mod, I was just playtasting it, so if you have some questions about how stuff works, it's mostly... should be next answering those. 
Okay, okay, back to normal. Okay. I forgot where I was going. Um, okay, let's try to play a little bit more. And see what else do I see. We have also auto map. I guess I could turn it on. It's not like it's gonna help me much. My navigation skills, but well, why not? Okay, didn't go here yet. Okay, as I mentioned at the beginning, um, X experiment mod is working with vanilla stuff, so it's no no graphics in here. So in case you might wanna wonder how can I drop a knife which doesn't have a graphic in the original, this is just some simple hacks where he took a piece of graphic from another thing. I'm not sure where the where the knife was from, if it was from some piece of another weapon or from some sprite, I am not sure at the moment, but there will be a few new weapons in here and they are made in same style. If you look at them you can probably figure out what they are made of, but... Some ways here, around, uh, somewhere here. Let me look for some secrets before Thomas is complaining about my playstyle again. Some small corridor I didn't check yet. Let's try that. Yep, looks like it. I don't know too much going on here. I think I see another door I didn't go to yet. Let's try there. I must say that after years of being used to Google Navigation GPN system, it's a little bit weird to use an auto map that it's not rotating with my movements. Oh yeah, a key. And we have another effect because I picked up something from the enemy. This is being shrinked. Everything is super big now, and I am super tiny. I think I can see it better on the... Uh, on the sprites. You can see that the plants are huge. Alright, I'm better now. Um, Let's see, I still want to talk about weapons, but before that... Let me play a little bit more. Okay, I have a gold key, and gold key on the map is... Here. I don't want to 
would I know? Okay, I'm wasting a little bit too much ammo here like this. Um, second key, okay, nice. Looks like a boss. See on the map another enemy coming towards me. Yeah, yeah, I see you come. Um, So often I almost didn't see him. And I picked up Syringe again. Oh, Christ. Yes, he doesn't see me here because I'm too small. Let's wait a bit and see. Oh. Okay, I guess I forgot about this or didn't notice it on my last gameplay testing. Yeah, it looks like the enemies don't notice you when you're tiny. That's nice. Nex doesn't tell me about all the features he is putting in, so I can also have a surprise when I play his mods. Or my mods. Oh, that's the first one.
<laughs> ah, right, I was wondering. Um, my weight is now zero, so I am actually faster than when I am fat. But for that, if you try to run with zero weight, you can see I'm losing health. So if you're out of weight, no fat tissue, and you try to run, you're pushing your body a bit too much, and you're losing health. Which means I should look for some food. That was not food. Okay, I guess I can't pick up treasures when I'm shrinked. Let's wait a little bit. You might notice that the lamp is animated. Um, animated, it's using uh, color cycling. So the graphic is original, but the animated effect is achieved by color cycling. If you don't know what it is, just google it and it's gonna be probably better explained than whatever I'm talking about. Okay, I was waiting for this. You might have noticed that there are no lives to start with. Because generally the lives in the Falkenstein 3D are really Redundant, useless with the saving and loading system, so what next changed about this is that every 40,000 score you're getting a life and you can do something else with it. You can see this is the weapon list, yeah, three weapons at the moment, and you have such thing like upgrade at the end. Uh, you can pick a weapon and sacrifice one life to upgrade. Use key. Use key. Okay. Let's see, I don't remember what the upgrades are doing, so let's try with the pistol. I think pistol was doing something cool if I remember right. So now the star next to the weapon 2, which is pistol, is colored. And we got a crosser. So the weapon got upgraded. I'm still losing health when I run, but okay. The crosshair is changing color depending what you aim on. You can see on the enemies it's gonna be red. When there's no enemy it's gonna be green. And sometimes it's turning yellow. That means I can find secrets with it. Which is tiny but cool little feature. And if you try to upgrade something without having any lives, you're just gonna die. So don't do that. And yeah, if you don't have any lives, it's yeah, game over. That's rather normal. Mm. It would take me too long to play the whole thing to upgrade all the weapons, so let me just try to do this. And I have all the weapons with the upgrades. I I guess I would have to ask next if there's some way to get all the weapons without the upgrades at first, but never mind, I will just show you at the moment what's going on here. So we have the knife, and was this the upgraded knife feature? I actually don't remember. What did the upgraded knife do?
don't have a key yet. Maybe it was the speed, I'm not sure anymore what was the upgrade of the knife. And as you can see, the knife was getting bloody. He has a lot of health. Alright, pistols are already explained. Um, machine gun. Uh, the normal machine gun got a projectile. You can probably notice it by now. The first upgrade is giving it double shot. You can see that the machine gun has uh, one more slot for the upgrade and there's no need really to show that it's just gonna be a triple one. That's rather straightforward. Minigun we get the double. I think normal minigun is working normally, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. As I said, I would have to ask next what's the option to if there's some way to get the weapons first before getting them upgraded. Come on, where's one? Is was here? Was here? Oh, right, the machine gun is doing that to the enemies. It's shooting them to space or... Yeah. No, there would have been one here. thing that would be all the weapons but we have some more we have a chalice which is growing up the enemies and making them explode mm, how was it with the weapons I think they still share the same ammo looks like that all right uh, I think I think the... I hope I'm not talking bullshit now, but as I said, it's been a while since I playtested it. The um, noise you see on the screen now, those red dots, that means that I'm getting some sort of uh, shield. You might know that effect from old games when you're picking up some item or respawning or something that the player is usually having such noise over them. Oh right, because the normal weapon is doing such... It's gonna be water going around you. And if you wanna hit enemies, you need to be close to them. And if there's no enemies, it's just gonna splush around. And yeah, it gives you the shield when it's upgraded. Okay, next weapon. This one is shrinking the enemies. remember what was the difference between the basic version and the upgraded one. Uh, okay, it looks like the dog food is giving you the weird effect. Okay, I'm not sure if I should mix all the effects. But anyways, that was weapon number... I don't know which one. It was five, six, seven. So this should be the last one. And this one is the best after the upgrading because it can absolutely fuck up the game. 
and what was it doing in the basic version? One of the weapons was still being shot at the enemies and eating them up slowly. I think maybe that was this one. I'm not sure. But anyways, the upgraded version. Just wait for the drugs to wear off to show it. It actually removes the walls. If you have enough ammo, you can remove every goddamn wall in the game. I think the only exception is the... Okay, that's the edge of the map. So it should be sort of idiot proof that it shouldn't crash the game. And it should also not remove the elevator, so... It was not fully tested, so you can still fuck up yourself. No promises are made there, but you can just break the whole level like this. Requires a lot of ammo, but it's totally worth it. Yeah, if you hit the enemies with this one, it's gonna eat them up slowly. But cool. But it's not beating up the eating the walls. Okay, I think it's a good idea. Uh, let's see the control still. Mm. That's weapons, weapons, okay, yep, yep, yep. Vision I mentioned, there is still the hook, F. Okay, let's show that one. Uh, as the name says, it's a hook. You can hook yourself on the walls and it's gonna drag you to wherever you hooked your, yourself on. I think it also hooks on the enemies, although I'm not sure now. Let's see if I find any. I think it's a good idea. There, no need for a key. Yep, I can I can hook myself on the enemy. So yeah, fuck the key searching with this weapon, I can just go through the whole thing. Um, okay, what else there was to show? I didn't see any transparent enemies, but I guess that's still to come, maybe in some later levels. I'm not sure what was set up for them. I think that was most of the stuff I wanted to show. If I forgot something, sorry about that. You can always download the thing and play it yourself and be surprised by whatever you find. Um, oh right, still, maybe this. What did this do? I actually have no idea what this option does. Okay, no clue what this one is doing. Um, we have option for floor and ceilings. I'm not sure how is it controlled or is it in case the mod is supporting it that you can also use it up then. mouse controls. I wanted to mostly show this thing because we have few light options to make the 
mod look a little bit different. I'm just gonna run through the map a little bit to show it. Just a reminder, maps have been made by Thomas. Okay, I think that's kind of it. I'm pretty sure that's not everything that it's hidden in here, but I think it shows the majority of what the mod was trying to do here. I highly recommend to get it and just play it yourself, because it's full of surprises and... There's probably still some stuff I didn't see myself. Alright then, 